First of all, good afternoon, good afternoon, wherever you are, all, everybody that stayed until the end of the event. I don't know what happened to you, but in my case, I, I, I found it so fast, but uh, it's been a very good event. So putting this annual event together of Lucknow, uh, it's always a big challenge. And as a matter of fact, Lucknow 2021 is the second that we had to do during the pandemic. Although, contrary to what happened in the previous year, we could organize a hybrid event. And apparently, that will be the way we go back to normality. We had, as part of this hybrid idea, we had two events in person, one in Montevideo, Uruguay, and the other in Pergamino, Argentina, just to illustrate something that happened. Um, let me tell you that in the hub in Argentina that was uh, created to get jointly with LACNIC and LACNOG, uh, and 150 people re registered to uh, be in uh, Pergamino, but only 99 attended of 37 uh, companies. In Uruguay, there were 83 people that participated daily. This is an, an example of what may happen in the future. So take note for future editions. So this virtual world, we've had to adopt it because of the pandemic, but it's been thanks to this that a group of people wanted to share their knowledge here in Lucknow. And even when we would have liked to receive many more proposals, the truth is that we had enough material for an excellent uh, agenda that I think that you um, could uh, benefit from uh, on Wednesday in the afternoon and then a panel yesterday why the with the ROA the the first day with the uh, network security and yesterday too with the BGP communities and today the first two hours this morning we got to know some experiences of what happens on a daily in the daily work of a network operator. We will plan to repeat this in the future and we urge you to uh, write down your ideas and your experience so you can share in future editions. The main topics that we discussed this year were the uh, internet infrastructure, network operations, IPv6, uh, routing and network security, the countries most represented were the United States, Brazil and Argentina. So we want to thank all the speakers for their good talks, but very especially I'd like to highlight Anaí Rivata. She was the only lady in the program and she never misses opportunities to show her expertise. As a matter of fact, she was presenter in five out of the uh, seven events in recent times. So many of the ladies in the community do an excellent job because I know, well, there are many that could present proposals for next year. Of course, this event wouldn't have been possible if, well, if the internet and its apps had not behaved themselves. A few days ago, they frightened us. I think you remember what we are talking about. But in spite of this, I think that usually we are doing a good job and everything went by wonderfully well. So it's been very good. You may imagine, maybe some better than others, the number of messages and uh, chat mails uh, in, in, in this event, either with the staff of LACNIC, whom we always thank for their excellence, and everybody involved. So I want to thank the programs committee and the board and uh, the, yeah, our manager and all in charge of the social media, the working group, uh, the translation uh, group that make it easier for us. And all those who one way or the other have entered the inter for 
to have a wonderful event. And I don't want to forget those who have collaborated with the Cahoots. Great success. I wanted to thank everybody that is part of this community that are the true key uh, characters with working with us all week. I think that we are now, we now have a new energy and we will have a lot of new knowledge and we'll be able to face new challenges when we go back to our daily life on Monday. I hope that next year more will participate at our event, LACNIC, LACNOG, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, drink a glass of uh, uh, beer together and um, see each other. So thank you for this incredible week. Thank you for your words, Jorge. It's been really a pleasure having been able to collaborate LACNIC and LACNOG. We hope we can really see each other, God willing. Yes, and hopefully with some beer. Thank you, Jorge. So, to wrap up, we now give the floor to Alejandro Guzman, the president of the board of LACNIC. Well, my greetings to all dear friends, colleagues, members of the internet community. After a week of many, many activities, tutorials, technical presentations, different uh, conversations, we reached the end of an excellent event once again. It's a pleasure for me to know that more than 800 people uh, participated in the modalities in this very first um, hybrid event. We were present in uh, Uruguay and in Argentina and in Pergamino, Argentina, and many people participated through YouTube or through uh, Zoom. So you had many opportunities to enjoy the program that we put together. Let me tell you some activities that we had where, that were also supported. We had four tutorials, IPv6, network interconnections, creation of ROAs and communities. They, uh, they were very successful and as Jorge said, with the great interaction that was good because not only did people go to listen to a presentation, but they interacted. So the people were connected with what they were explaining. We also had more than 12 technical presentations at LACNOC and again with many questions in the Q&A part. So people were really excited about this and the panels were very good for uh, things that can't ha um, that you can't lack in the internet and uh, Carlos Martinez and the daily life of uh, a network operator by Thomas Lynch, very well chaired. As a highlight of the event, a very important uh, thing in the event, we had one of the fathers of the internet, Vinton Cerf. He was here to, well, we heard him talk about uh, the technical issues that were involved in, in the creation of the internet, and it was very interesting to listen to him. And then people who participated in this talk commented what they said that they considered that was considered and we had more than 60 to 30 people that gave us the feedback um, uh, to uh, and some of the things that they need for a more stable internet one of scalability flexibility innovation collaboration were among the most popular verbs and uh, they, we work with them every day we also have a very important uh, well, announcement, and that is that uh, we have the second round for technical uh, women, and this is part of the commitment of uh, LACNIC to promote the participation of women, both in governance or in technical issues, and to help them develop in their activities to be even more active in the community. The first edition was successful. We thank all those who participated and that were involved in the second edition that is about to start. It's excellent. 
And these are commitments that as an organization, we also had the importance of increasing the participation of women. And we also wanted to thank all those women that in this event participated one way or the other. Congratulations and thank you for your support. Another important event, always essential, is the Public Policy Forum. And this time again, we had several policies uh, and we had uh, a great effort uh, to, uh, from the staff and, uh, and the moderators. Um, so when uh, we moved to the scheme, we improved things little by little. And I think that we uh, got to, uh, uh, we got to uh, a result that everybody could participate, both uh, those that were in person or virtually, everybody could um, participate in the public policy forum. So we want to thank all those that presented proposals, those that participated with the comments, continue to do that because the public policy forum may be one of the most important things because really the decisions as to what is done with the uh, um, the resources and how they are assigned, it's not so simple. We only review the ratification process, but actually when the policies are designed for, the hand, for handling those resources, it's in the forum. So we invite you to participate more actively. Also under in this event, we had the LAC Peering Forum. That was excellent too. We had a good participation with very significant talks and very interesting panels. And in addition to that, we had the first meeting. So now I would like to take some time to specifically thank all of those that made it possible. Um, so thank you for your time. So the authors, uh, and thank you for doing things to improve um, the, uh, the work of a community and the, the moderators. Thank you for your work because it's very time consuming and thank you for chairing the Public Policy Forum. We also want to thank those that proposed talks, those that participated in the panels. Without you, there wouldn't have been any uh, content and the contents of this event were excellent. And there are many people making this uh, event possible. Servicios y logísticas, services and logistics, uh, the, uh, the interpreters, uh, the audio people, the streaming people. Thank you all, all the volunteers, the members of LACNOC, the programs committee, the sponsors that support us with the events, and also special thanks to all the staff of LACNIC. When we prepare our oh, this meeting, they work so hard for everything to come out right. And now it's time to participate of LACNIC 37. Many want to know where it's going to take place. Well, the dates may 2nd to 6th, 2022, the next LACNIC 37 will be May 2nd to the 6th, 2022. Jorge already gave you um, uh, some hints. The hybrid uh, work is here to stay. So, because of the health conditions, we assume this will be a hybrid event, but we expect to hold this in Cali, Colombia. So, whichever the way, we invite you to participate, and hopefully, we can see you all in the face to face meeting in LACNIC 37. Thank you to all, and we see you at the next edition of LACNIC.